Hello and welcome to Tang News. Now today's highlights. Awarding investment certificate to Hassan Nail Electronics Vietnam Co Limited. General Director of Korean Shinha Life Company pays a courtesy call to Chairman of Taiwan Provincial People's Committee. Changes in the project areas. On the 21st of January, Taiwan Provincial People's Committee awarded the investment certificate to Hansen Electronics Vietnam Limited Liability Company. Mr. Zhu Ngoc Long, Deputy Secretary of the Party's Committee and Chairman of Taiwan People's Committee and representatives of other departments attended the ceremony. The Hanson Electronics Vietnam project, specializing in manufacturing, assembling and processing all kinds of mobile phones, phone components, is built on a total area of over 66,700 square meters at Irving Industrial Zone No. 1 for N District, with a total investment capital of over 150 million USD. The project has a term of 49 years from the date of investment certificate insurance. The project has an initial production scale of 36 million units per year, which is expected to generate jobs for over 6,000 local employees. Speaking at the ceremony, Mr. Zhu Ngoc Long emphasized the feasibility of the project and expressed his belief in the economic potentials that it might bring to Taiwan province generally and for industry particularly, just like the Samsung project in Inbing Industrial Complex. He also required the company to implement the project according to their commitments to ensure the scheduled progress. On a business trip to Taiwan, Mr. Lee Sung Rak, General Director of Shinha Life Korean Company, paid a courtesy call to the Chairman of Taiwan Provincial People's Council. At the reception, Mr. Zhu Ngoc Lam, Deputy Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, came Chairman of Taiwan Provincial People's Committee, informed General Director of Shinha Life Company about the key features in the socio-economic development of the province, its priority mechanisms in investment attraction policy, the favorable conditions of infrastructure, transportation, education, public health, social culture, and asserted that Taiwan has recently become an attractive destination for investors, especially for those from South Korea. On the other side, Mr. Ling Sung Rak expressed his thanks for the respectful welcome that leaders of Taiwan province in general and chairman of the Provincial People's Council in particular has accorded them. With its strength in providing insurance services and financial investment, in recent years, the company has implemented a number of community development projects in Vietnam by funding the construction of schools in remote areas, particularly the two schools in the areas of Phu Binh and Dong Hi district, Tangyuan province. On behalf of the company, Mr. Lee Sung Rak expressed his desire that his company will continue to receive the cooperation from Taiwan province and hopes that the province will keep on supporting the investment promotion activists of the company in the near future. Taiwan province entered 2013 with many accomplishments in promotion and investment attraction. Results are due to the efforts of the whole political system and the Taiwan people in promoting potentialities and its advantages and promptly took opportunities to develop in a new period. The presence of FDI projects which have been deployed in Taiwan made many changes in the project areas. Visiting Vĩnh Sương, Đồng Thiên Commune for in district, being boards of in two languages of Vietnamese and Korean are used. Running businesses like these is the choice of the people here. Nguyen Van Lu's Kmart store has been open for just two months, but the salesman said that the business is quite potential. At peak hours, when officials and engineers of Samsung go home, the buyers are mostly Korean. Realizing the potentiality of the region's economy, since the Samsung was opened here, my family decided to open a store. In my opinion, the business situation in the future is quite promising.
After my working hours, I often come here to buy things. Generally, I found the goods here are in abundance. The quality and service in this store, particularly and in Vietnam generally, are pretty good. In Dai Tu district, after several years of implementation of the Nui Phao mining project, the local outlook has been significantly changed. Along with the creation of employment opportunities, provision of food services, stationery, building materials for the people of the project area, Nufa Mining Company has also been actively implementing activities to support community, improve the quality of local infrastructure, contributing to the effective implementation of sustainable development between the company and the project community. The two-floor classroom building of Ha Thuong Primary School in Ha Thuong Commune, Dai Tu District, built two years ago, is one of the works donated by Nufa Mining with the amount of 1.3 billion Vietnam dong. The significant improvement of facilities with spacious classroom promises to give students useful lessons. For the school, the new farm mining project supports infrastructure. In addition, it also supports students with meaningful activities on environment, traffic safety, and the use of English books for the school library. Since the new farm started its production in Hatton Commune, the local structure has had many changes in terms of infrastructure and household economic development conditions. The changes that we mentioned above are only two of the local focus of investment extraction of Tang Nguyen. In 2013 alone, Tang Nguyen attracted most FDI with total registered capital of $3,408 billion, accounting for 17.7 percent of the registered capital of the country. The positive change in areas directly affected Almost all the aspects of the localities, when the wave of foreign investment in Taiwan province increased in recent years, which has reinforced the belief of the people around the project area. It is believed that with the positive support of the authorities and citizens in improving the investment environment, the appearance of iron and steel capital will continue to change day by day. Let's take a look at some other news. It is, without doubt, essential to promote the role and potentialities of the state-owned economic sector. This is the conclusion withdrawn from the meeting Section 4 of the Executive Board of Taiwan Provincial Cooperative Alliance 2012-2017 tenure held last January the 21st, 2014. Despite the common economic difficulties, in 2013, the state-owned sector was able to maintain its operation that created jobs for laborers. Promoting these achievements, the Executive Board of Taiwan Provincial Cooperative Alliance set out tasks to strengthen activities of the state-owned sector, enhance joint ventures and cooperation, mobilize resources serving to improve working efficiency, build brand names and reinforce product quality in the market for labor's better income. On the 18th of January at the Church Village, Phuc Chiu Komu, Taiwan Province, Tien Fu Anti Cooperative proudly received the Golden Cup for Standard Products 2013 awarded by the Institute of Quality Research General Agency of Management and Quality, Ho Chi Minh City. Tien Phu Tea Production Cooperative, with eight members in a total tea area of more than 20 hectares, was established on October 27, 2013. Its function is to produce, process, and trade dry tea with a total budget of 300 million Vietnam dong. After two months, Tien Phu An could produce and sell more than three tons of tea for a revenue of 1.5 billion Vietnam dong. The establishment of Tien Phu An Tea Cooperative will contribute to popularizing Taiwan tea brand more broadly. The key goal of the cooperative is to provide quality products to serve local development, gain profits for members, and increase state budget collection. That ends our program today. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye for now and see you again.